Neil Young has done his four concerts and raised a half a million dollars for a First Nations man to fight the oil sand, so now what? Will there be more long, drawn-out court battles attacking the Alberta economy? The latest move to impress us is a list of 20 so-called notable Canadians who agree with Young. Now, of these 20 important people, I've only heard of maybe seven of them, but maybe I don't get out enough. I don't know. They are listed as lawyers and dancers and musicians and actors and scientists. I'm betting that in Alberta, we could sign more than 20 in the same occupations, plus First Nations who benefit from the oil sands, who disagree with Young. You're already quite vocal. Art is disgusted at how Young trivialized what happened to the people of Hiroshima. Dan says the best way to honor Young's views is not to use fuel to get to his concert, just stay home instead. And Ron writes to say he does not support Young's views, but banning opinions is not what we are about. Might I add, we even allow uninformed opinion from those who refuse to hear the other side. Let me know what you think. I'm Bob Layton.